And Taiwan has become one of the few places in the world to host a gay pride parade this year. It's had just seven deaths from coronavirus and fewer than 500 confirmed cases. Rajid Ahmed has more. More than 200 people turned out in Liberty Square, Taipei. The weather wasn't exactly welcoming, but the atmosphere was. Excuse the mess, it's the rain. This is one of the few gay pride parades taking place anywhere around the world. Organizers say nearly 500 other events globally have been canceled because of the coronavirus. The whole world is still dealing with the peak of the pandemic. Only Taiwan can come out and hold this activity to mark the 50th anniversary of Pride Month. And for many, it is an important milestone. It's been 50 years since the first Pride marches in the United States, which were held a year after the New York Stonewall riots. Many see that moment as the start of the LGBTQ rights movement. Wearing rainbow-colored face masks, the theme seemed to be marching for the world. Taiwan has successfully kept its COVID-19 infection rates and deaths very low compared to other countries. So some came here to take part because they couldn't back home. Taiwan controlled the pandemic well, so we hold this gay pride activity for the whole world in Taiwan. I'm here to march for France. This is why I have French colors on my face, my body, my outfit. Last year, Taiwan became the first place in Asia to legalize same-sex marriage. And this year, the country seems to be waving the flag for the LGBTQ pride season, when many can't. Regid Ahmed, BBC News.